why you guys watch this video right now. Because ask that question yourself. MFT didn't find you. You found MFT. The reason why you found it because there's something about your life that's got to change. Something that's deficient. It's no longer suitable for your course of action. You've hit the wall someplace. You've looked in the mirror too many times and haven't smiled. You want to change the situation. Move from where you are. The journey is not easy. Before you start that journey, mentally, you must fuel yourself with the right reasons, the right fuel to sustain the entire journey. Everyone's hot off the start. After a month or so into it, or a couple weeks into it, with the wear and tear and the grind starts to hit you, you start losing focus on the horizon, do you not? You get caught away in the daily hiccups, the ups and downs, and the wear and tear. And you focus on the speed bumps, the daily activities, losing sight of the true purpose. When you lose sight of the purpose, you get too much value of what the pain is today. We always invest today, sacrifice today for tomorrow's betterment. But if we don't know what that betterment is, the want factor, what we're really doing it for, we can't win this war, guys. In order to be successful in the MFT program, or in life in general, it's the want factor. You can keep a body, do whatever you want. You can sell mental, nutritional diet. What's the point? Once you find out you want, regardless of what it is, and you combine the mind, the body together. That's when life gets exciting for us. Stories of inspiration when a person overcomes the odds. When you see the good man, fuck the great. Put your hands together, man. Give credit where it's due. Remember the name of the person that overcame the odds. Because that same person you can use in your own battle one day. When you hit rock bottom and you feel like the walls and muffins on your back and the rope is hitting you down every single step. You can use that inspiration. You can step forward that makes all the f***ing difference. Let me give you a few examples of these, of people that overcome the odds. This kid couldn't speak. Everyone else in his peer group speaking all good. He couldn't speak. At age seven, everyone's reading and talking. He can't read. He was slowing down so much, the teachers brought his parents in the man and said, dude, the kid's got to go, man. He's just slow. He's not creative. He's slowing down the betterment of the entire class. Got to go. Parents brought him home and said, man, what are we going to do with this? This child of ours, too bad put him to work. He got fired from every single job he ever tried. All this guy knows up until 21 years old is failure. He's never tasted success. He just gets up and keeps trying, fails. Gets up and keeps trying. Until one day he found out what he wanted. What inspired him. And he gave it everything he had. Day in, day out, man. He burned the midnight oil. So he didn't have to stay awake in the midnight hours wondering what if. This guy tried something. 1,093 times before it was successful. 1,093 times, man. When the hell have you ever tried something more than 10 times before you throw in the towel? I can't say I have. This guy did. And why? That was what he wanted. How was it nourished? Failure. Everything failed in his life. So when it failed on the 1,000th time, he's like, well, fuck it, man. It's an average fucking day. It always fails. I keep on going, but his invention got smarter and, and quicker. That failure made it more and more successful. It's getting closer and closer and closer. And finally, the light bulb lit. That was Thomas Edison, failure, dumbass, his entire life. He over another thousand patents, man, remarkable. Couldn't speak at four. He was written out of class because he couldn't read at seven. Kicked home so he remember the challenge. One of the greatest inventors of our time. We all fall down in life, guys. The question is, who gets back up? Again, it's not the potential of the individual. It's not the genetics. It's the perseverance. The never-say-die attitude. If you constantly keep throwing shit against the wall, Eventually something will stick.